Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ. In this video of Study IQ, I will bring to you the part 1 of September 2nd week. Please note that every week is now divided into two parts, part 1 and part 2. This is part 1, so don't forget to watch part 2. If you are preparing for SSE, CGL, Bank P or UPSC, our pen drive courses are available. StudyIQ.com is our website or you can also dial one of the three numbers to avail the pen drive course. It is the best course out there and if you wish to prepare for any of these exams, you can prepare from the comfort of your home. Which team won the South Asian Basketball Association Under-16 Championship that was held in Kathmandu which is the capital of Nepal? Now important thing to Nepal, remember about Nepal is that Nepal's president is Vidya Devi Bhandari who is the first female president in the history of Nepal. Prime Minister Rishir Bahadur Deoba who was on a five day visit to India recently and uh, this competition was won by India. Second was Bangladesh and third was Nepal. Bangladesh's Prime Minister is Sheikh Hasina and capital is Dhaka, currency is Taka. Bondaram festival, it was recently celebrated in which state? It is a festival of Goa. It is basically a monsoon festival and uh, it was uh, celebrated on the Diwar Island on Goa. And Goa, uh, the governor is Mridula Sina who is a very well known Hindi uh, writer Mridula Sinha, she is the governor. Chief Minister is Manohar Parikar, ex Defense Minister. And uh, please imp uh, note that uh, about uh, Goa, one thing I wanted to tell you, which I forgot now. Anyways, so Goa is the answer. IRDA Insurance Regulatory Development Authority of India, it has introduced which of the following as an alternative method of verification while opening e insurance account. So basically, Insurance Regulatory Development Authority of India, its chairman is T.S. Vijayan. And it has said that if you want to open an electronic insurance account, now you can do the verification using the one-time password. Earlier, only electronic signature was uh, used. So the thing that I forgot to uh, mention was that today is Hindi day. I was mentioning now, Mridula Sinha is very well-known Hindi uh, literaturist. So today is Hindi Divas and I uh, wish everyone a very uh, happy Hindi day. So and also remember in Goa, we have the... Uh, there was a famous ornithologist who ornithologist is a person who studies birds. So Dr. Salim Ali is a famous ornithologist. In Goa we have Dr. Salim Ali uh, wildlife century. So bird century, not wildlife century, it's a bird century. And Dr. Salim Ali national park is in Jammu Kashmir. So these are two separate things. Dr. Salim Ali bird century is in Goa and uh, national park is in Jammu Kashmir. So moving on, which state has received the highest number of new tax registrations under GST at a whooping 77% and the national average is only 23% but this state has had 77% tax registrations. This state is West Bengal. Governor of West Bengal who is also the governor of Bihar is Kesari Nath Tripathi and uh, uh, that's because he is given the additional charge of Bihar after the former governor of Bihar Ram Nath Kovind became the president of India. He is the 14th president of India and Venkaiya Naidu is the 13th vice president of India. West Bengal's governor is the uh, is um, a firebrand politician Mamta Energy from the Trinamool Congress party. Who has been appointed as the interim chairman of Goods and Services Tax Network and this Goods and Services Tax Network it is basically the uh, the network which is able to carry out all the GST transactions more than 80 million transactions a month and a lot of times it has collapsed also. So his name is A.B. Pandey, Ajay Bhushan Pandey. Now this uh, name is familiar because he is also the head of UITAI. Water Resources Minister Nitin Gadkari has announced a 60,000 crore rupees uh, plan to link the rivers in which state. Nitin Gadkari is the Minister for uh, Transportation, our Shipping and all the three departments of uh, Uma Bharti are now given to Nitin Gadkari. That is uh, river development, uh, Ganga rejuvenation and water resources. And Uma Bharti is now left with only uh, sanitary and uh, drinking water. These are the department of Uma Bharti. So Nitin Gadkari has uh, launched this plan in Maharashtra, which has a BJP and Shiv Sena coalition government. Devinder Fadnavis is the chief minister. In Maharashtra, we have the Chandoli National Park. We have Tadoba National Park. We have Fansad National Park, Fansad Wildlife Sanctuary. So remember Fansad, uh, Chandoli and Tadoba. These are all important uh, national park and wildlife sanctuaries in Maharashtra. Governor of Maharashtra is C. Vidya Sagar Rao, who is also the governor of Tamil Nadu. Defense Minister Nimala Sitaraman, she flagged off the all-women team of Navika Sagar Parikrama on IS, INSV Tarini. The team will be led by which brave woman? It will be led by Lieutenant Commander Vartika Joshi. So remember, INS Tarini is the first Indian ship to be completely managed by the female team. And Nimala Sitaraman is our Defence Minister. She is the second Defence Minister in the history of India and first full-time Defence Minister. Because Indira Gandhi, when she was the Prime Minister, she gave herself the Defence Portfolio. 
DRDO, which is the Defense Research Development Organization, it has successfully tested indigenously developed third generation of which of the following anti-tank guided missile. DRDO's chairman is Dr. S. Christopher, who was given a one-year extension earlier on this year. And the name of this third generation uh, anti-tank missile is NAG. The range of NAG is 7 km. Famous athlete Joyce Silene Jepkosgi. She has become the first woman to complete a 10 km race in less than 30 minutes. In fact, she broke her own world record. She is from which country? She is from an African country called Kenya. Capital of Kenya is Nairobi and the currency is shilling. There is a festival called North East Calling. You know the seven sisters of the North East, the, one of the most important parts of India. So the festival North East uh, Calling, it was recently inaugurated in New Delhi by which person? It was inaugurated by Jitendra Singh. He's a minister of state in DONER, Department of uh, Develop for Development of North East Region. He's also the minister in PMO for personnel, etc. Mahesh Sharma is our minister for culture and tourism. Rajnath Singh is our home minister. Please note, we have a new home secretary. It is not Rajiv Maharishi now, it is Rajiv Gaba. Rajiv Maharishi now is the Comptroller and Auditor General of India. Nitin Gadkari, as I said, is the Minister for Transport, Water Resources, Ganga Rejuvenation and River Development. What was the 2017 theme of International Literacy Day that was observed on September the 8th? This time the theme was Literacy in a Digital World. India's most literate state as per the 2011 census is Kerala. Himalayan Divas was recently celebrated in Uttarakhand on which day? This is basically to, uh, uh, to spread the awareness about the importance of Himalayas to India. And it's very, very important. So this day and the theme this year was contribution of Himalayas and our responsibility. We definitely are party to uh, the Himalayan conservation and Uttarakhand is also a mountain state. This day was observed on September the 9th. And Uttarakhand CM is Trivendra Singh Rawat, who is from BJP. Governor is K.K. Paul, who was the ex-commissioner of police of Delhi. And in Uttarakhand, we have the second highest number of tigers after Karnataka in India. Because in Uttarakhand, we have Govind Pashu Vihar National Park. We have Jim Corbett National Park, which is the oldest uh, tiger reserve in India. When it was uh, founded, it was founded as Haley National Park. Later, the name was changed after the great tiger hunter Jim Corbett. We also have Nanda Devi. We also have Valley of Flowers and so on. Which of the following chief ministers has been uh, conferred with uh, the One World Grand Prix Award for his contribution to organic farming because his state is the first organic state of India and it is also the state with the lowest population in India. We are talking about Sikkim and therefore the CM is Pavan Kumar Chamli. Please note Sikkim capital is Gangtok. Sikkim is also the first state in India which became open defecation free. Second state to become open defecation free was Himachal Pradesh. Third was Kerala. Fourth was Uttarakhand. Fifth was Haryana. So these are the five states which so far have become open defecation free. Mumbai also recently became open defecation free but it is a city not a state. So Pavan Kumar Chambling and uh, Sikkim is the first organic state of India. Which state government has signed a MOU with Google to increase internet connectivity? So in 26,000 villages and 1,500 tea gardens, uh, Google will provide internet. Tea garden, so India's highest tea producing state is Assam. And India's highest coffee producing state is Karnataka. Assam, we have a lot of important national parks like Kaziranga. Uh, there is a national park called Manas, which is called Mini Kaziranga because it also houses certain number of one-horned rhino like Kaziranga. We have Orang, which has the maximum number of tiger density. We have Sonai Rupai, we have Nameri and so on. Assam, CM is Sarvanan Sonobal, governor is Banwari Lal Purohit, who is also the governor of Meghalaya. So remember that and Punjab CM is uh, Captain Amindra Singh Telangana is Shikhar Rao and Sikkim Pavan Kumar Chamli. Central Ground Water Board which is called CGWB, it has entered into a MOA with which institute for ground water research. Ground water research it will do in association with Indian Institute of Science Bengaluru and um, it is uh, in Bengaluru capital of Karnataka. Karnataka Chief Minister is Siddharamaiya. Karnataka was in news for all the wrong reason because of death of Gauri Lankesh who used to write in Kannada. And Gauri Lankesh Patrika was the name of her magazine. And uh, Karnataka's uh, governor is Mr. Baji Bhai Wala. And also remember, Karnataka has a lot of important national parks like Anshi, Banargatta, Bandipur, Nagarhole, Kudre Mukha, uh, Dandeli, and so on. Which bank has uh, waived off the processing fee on retail loans by up to 100%? This bank is United Bank of India. Not many banks have uh, headquartered in Kolkata, but this happens to be one. Kolkata has also has headquarter of, apart from United Bank of India, Bandhan Bank. Its headquarter is also in Kolkata and managing director and CEO is Mr. Pavan Bajaj. He is the managing director and CEO of United Bank of India. Sayyid Mustafa is passed away. He was the former health minister of which state? India's health minister is J.P. Nadda. He is the minister for health and family welfare and uh, he was the health minister of Odisha, Mr. Sayyid Mustafa is. Now, Odisha, we have the Simlipal National Park. We have Bhitar Kanika National Park, which is present in the Mahanadi Delta area and we have a very famous beach in Odisha which is called Gahirmat beach which is famous for olive ridley turtles. 
Olive Rindy Turtle. Odisha's capital is Bhubaneswara, which hosted Asian Athletics Championship this year. And CM is Namin Patnaik, son of Biju Patnaik. And uh, party's name is Biju Janta Dal. Governor is Mr. Dr. S.C. Jamir. Which of the following is the uninhabited island of Lakshadweep, which was completely vanished due to coastal erosion? Now, Lakshadweep is the uh, large group of islands in India which is present in the Arabian Sea. In uh, We also have Andaman Nicobar which is a major island but it is in the way of Bengal. Lakshadweep capital is Kavarati. Now the name of the island that I am talking about which has been completely destroyed is Parali 1. It was uninhabited which means no person was staying here. Cabinet ministers in West Bengal, they have cleared a proposal to name the state in all the languages as what? Earlier the proposal was that West Bengal will be named in three languages. It will be called Bangla. Uh, and uh, it will be called Bangla in uh, Bengali, it will be called Bengal in Hindi and it will be called Bengal in English. But now only one language is there, it will be called Bangla only. So the new name of West Bengal will most likely be Bangla. And uh, Bangladesh as I said, Kesri Natri Party is the, is the governor. Please note that we have two important national parks in uh, Bang West Bengal. One is called uh, Goru Mara and one is called Baksa. As per the recently enacted Industrial Disputes Bill of Assam, Assam Amendment Bill 2017, the government has allowed the employers or the bosses to fire up to how many employees without prior permission. Now, if you fire up to 300 employees, you don't need the permission of the state. Earlier, it was only 100. ICAR, Indian Council of Agriculture Research, it has launched a 1100 crore rupees National Agriculture Higher Education Project called NAHEP in association with which organization, which multilateral body? It is the World Bank, which is called one half of the Bretton Woods strain. It is headquartered in Washington DC, which also has the headquarter of NASA and also of IMF International Monetary Fund. Please note uh, that uh, Washington DC is called Washington DC after the name of George Washington, who was the first president of the United States of America. And World Bank's president is Jim Yong Kim and CEO is Kirstina Georgieva. First, across barriers, International Business Women Summit was recently held at which place? It was held in Kathmandu, which is the capital of Nepal. It is also the headquarter of SARC, which has eight countries, South Asian Association of Regional Cooperation. World Suicide Prevention Day, it was recently celebrated on which day? It was celebrated on September the 10. And the theme was, take a minute, change a life. Take a minute, change a life. Now, my first question for you today. What is the name of the game that uh, abets the uh, youngsters to play 50 rounds and the 50th round is basically to commit suicide. What is the name of that game? Write down in comments. Which state government is going to provide skill development training to 30,000 surrendered militants? This is a good step. All the militants who have surrendered, who have said no to uh, the rebellion, they will be provided skill development training so that they can be brought to mainstream and they can be provided jobs. For that, uh, the, the, the organization, the state is Assam and uh, 24,000 youth in Assam will be trained under the Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana, which basically means skill development. Please note, we have a new skill development minister. Do you know? Dharmendra Pradhan, who is also the oil and gas minister of India. SpaceX, it's a company of Elon Musk, very futuristic company, space exploration. So SpaceX recently launched X-37B, orbital test vehicle. You can see the photo here. This is the secret space plane of what? It is a secret space plane of the Air Force of US, United States Air Force. And uh, remember, it was launched from Florida's Kennedy Space Center. Now, Florida was in news. Why? Because it was struck with the most dangerous hurricane in the history of America, which is called Hurricane Irma, whereas Texas was hit by Hurricane Harvey. So these are the two hurricanes which have completely caused chaos all around in USA. Hurricane Harvey at Texas Houston and Hurricane Irma at Florida. And uh, SpaceX also has a rocket which is called Falcon 9. Which of the following companies is going to receive Maharatan status? Only seven companies in India like ONGC, Indian Corporation, Bhel, Sale and all these, they are uh, Maharatan company, the biggest uh, public sector companies. Now, eighth company to receive this status is Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, BPCL. BPCL chairman is Mr. D. Rajkumar. Please note that BPCL, Bharat Petroleum, HPCL, Hindustan Petroleum and Indian Oil Corporation, which is the most profitable PSU in India. Indian Oil Corporation, it leapfrogged ONGC as the most profitable company in India. Earlier, it was ONGC, Oil and Natural Gas Limited. Now, BPCL, HPCL and IUC, together they are making India's biggest oil refinery at a cost of 2 lakh crore rupees in Ratnagiri. And Ratnagiri is in Maharashtra. Which institute has topped among the Indian institutes in the World University Rankings 2018? Which is the best university in the world as per the World University Ranking? It is Oxford. What is second? Cambridge. Oxford is in UK. UK is the name of Scotland plus England plus Wales plus Northern Ireland. Scotland's capital is Edinburgh. England is London. Wales is Cardiff. 
and the name is Indian Institute of Science Bangalore and uh, second position was IIT Bombay third was IIT Delhi but please remember that no Institute of India was in top 100 a new species of an edible fish which is a freshwater fish it is called labiophilferous it has been found where it has been found on the Pampa river now Pampa river is in Kerala Pampa river Periyar river these are important rivers in in uh, Kerala Kerala CM is who plenary vision of the CPIM party governor is Justice P. Satashivam who is the author of the recently launched book called hit refresh hit refresh so this guy he is Satya Nadella he is the CEO of Microsoft Mark Zuckerberg is CEO of Facebook and COO of Facebook is Sheryl Sandberg. Sundar Pichai CEO of uh, Google and Jeff Bezos is Amazon's chairman. Actor R. N. Sudarshan passed away. He was from which, uh, which state? He used to act in Kannada, Tamil, Telugu movies but he was primarily from Karnataka. Karnataka recently launched Indra Canteen which is basically the canteen where you will get subsidized food. Now my second question for you today and it is a slightly difficult one. Which state has launched uh, which state has launched Pandit Deen Dayal Canteen. Deen Dayal Canteen, which is named after Pandit Deen Dayal Upadhyay, have been launched by which state? Write down in comments. Who has been appointed as the head coach of men's national hockey team of India? He is also the head coach of the female uh, national hockey team of India. What is his name? His name is Joad Marijne. Joad Marijne. First ever national canine seminar was organized by the National Security Guard. It was recently held where? This is to basically... Um, you know spread the awareness about the importance of the dogs in the defense of India it was held in Manesar Manesar is in Gurugram Gurugram is in Haryana and Gurugram is the old name of Gurgaon and Haryana's CM is Manohar Lal Khattar and Haryana's governor is Kaptan Singh Solanki which of the following space agencies has unveiled the look of its newly designed full body spacesuit so look at this beautiful spacesuit it will be used by the astronauts for this agency this is SpaceX SpaceX. NASA is headquartered in Washington DC. NASA's project Cassini is now uh, getting over on 15th of September because Cassini will hit the surface of Saturn. It will collapse. ISRO is headquartered in Bengaluru and chaired by A.S. Kiran Kumar. CNSA is the Chinese Space Agency. Who is going to head the Joint Parliamentary Committee on the Finance Resolution and Deposit Insurance Bill 2017? Which person? It will have 20 Lok Sabha member. Lok Sabha is the lower house and 10 Rajya Sabha member which is the upper house. Name is Bhupender Yadav. BSNL which is the Indian Sarkari Telecom Company, Government Telecom Company, Public Sector, Bharti Sanchar Nikam Limited. It has partnered with which bank for launching its own mobile wallet called SpeedPay. Mobile wallet is like Paytm, Mobiquick, uh, Oxygen and so on. SpeedPay. Which bank is it? It is Punjab National Bank which is headquartered in New Delhi. And Punjab National Bank Managing Director is Sunil Mehta. Earlier Punjab National Bank CEO and Managing Director was Ushanand Subramanian but now she is Managing Director and CEO of Allahabad Bank. So... Uh, remember this much and uh, the name will be speed pay speed pay next pakistan's prime minister shahid khakan abbasi who became the prime minister after nawaz sharif was inducted by the supreme court of the pakistan for panama paper leaks so recently he inaugurated a 340 megawatt nuclear power plant at chashma the project has been backed by which country so this is an easy question the project has been backed, backed by china by the way china also has a chinese dominated bank coalition infrastructure investment bank which is headquartered in beijing india is also a member of aiib and China, in China, there is also a headquarter of new development banks called BRICS Bank at Shanghai. What is the name of the project that will be initiated by the income tax department where they will use social media website like Facebook, Twitter to reduce the mismatches between spending pattern and income declaration. For example, if you are earning 5000 rupees that you have declared in your uh, while filing income tax return and on Facebook you are putting every month uh, pics of your uh, European trips and also definitely there is a mismatch between your income and your spending pattern. Now your social media sites will be tracked by the CBDT income tax department and you can be in trouble. The name of the project is Insight. And there are two tax departments. One is for direct tax which is called CBDT Central Board of Direct Taxes. It is chaired by Mr. Sushil Chandar. And then we have of course for indirect tax which is called Central Board of Excise Tax and Customs. It is chaired by Vanaja Sarna which is for indirect taxes like GST. Which Pakistani bank has been closed in New York? It has been fined also $225 million and asked to close its operations in New York by the Department of Financial Services, United States of America. This bank was openly uh, flouting the rules and uh, it was did not comply with the laws and regulation. Uh, it was also involved in terrorist funding and also in uh, money laundering. This bank is Habib Bank. Habib Bank. America's uh, vice president is Mike Pence. President is Donald Trump. Both are from Republican Party. And daughter of Donald Trump is Ivanka Trump. Wife is Melania Trump. Researchers from which university 
they have discovered a method to produce methanol using oxygen in the air. Methanol is basically what you call CH3OH. It is not drinkable alcohol. Drinkable alcohol is ethanol which is called C2H5OH and this research is done by Cardiff University. Now Cardiff is the capital of Wales. It is in UK. Which of the following is the declaration which India refused to sign at the World Parliamentary Forum over Rohingya issue. This declaration is called Bali Declaration. Bali is basically name of a place in Indonesia. Indonesia's capital is Jakarta. So this declaration is that UN has called Rohingya killing of Rohingya in Myanmar as a genocide. It's a textbook genocide. UN wanted India to vote against Myanmar but India didn't. And Myanmar's president is Mr. Hatin Kayao. Although de facto president, the, I mean, the most powerful person is, is uh, the military followed by Aung San Suu Kyi. Myanmar's capital is Nepi Dao. Old name of Myanmar is Burma. And old capital of Myanmar was Yangon. So India refused to vote against Myanmar. Who won the US Open? Well, this is like a story in itself. Many people thought his career is over. But no, his career is not over. Please remember, now all the four Grand Slams of tennis are over. First Grand Slam was Australian Open, won by Roger Federer. Second uh, Grand Slam was, uh, uh, you know, French Open, which was won by Rafael Nadal again. So Rafael Nadal has won two Grand Slam, US Open and French Open. He is from Spain. And then Wimbledon was won by Roger Federer. So Roger Federer 2, Rafael Nadal 2. It seems like old good times of tennis are back. Which of the following ships has been sent by Indian Navy for marking the 25th anniversary of India-ASEAN dialogue? Please note, in ASEAN, there are 10 countries and all the 10 countries' head of states are invited by India to attend their 26th uh, January Republic Day Parade in 2018. These two ships are INS Satpura and INS Kadmat. So the answer is one and two. Important thing. These are the two ships after going to Malaysia for, uh, you know, for their uh, defense preparedness and humanitarian assistance. Basically, disaster relief. In Malaysia, we are having some natural disaster. So these ships will help Malaysia in that rebuilding. And after that, these are the two ships of India which will go to Russia to participate in the Indra naval exercise. And these ships, two ships will return to India after three months only. So our uh, chief of Navy is Sunil Lamba. Which of the following hurricane has become the longest lasting top incentive cyclone ever recorded? We look at the speed of the wind. 183 miles per hour for more than 33 hours continuous. It was uh, stuck in Florida. So I'm talking about the hurricane Irma. It was a category 5 storm. Hurricane Harvey was a category 3 storm. Government has announced that mobile SIM cards not linked with Aadhaar will be deactivated after which date? You need to link your mobile SIM cards with Aadhaar card. If not, after February 2018, it will be deactivated. And if you don't link your PAN card with Aadhaar, after December, 31st December 2017 is the deadline for that. Who won the men's single event at the 8th SR Subramanian Memorial ITF, Indian Tennis Federation Men's Future Tennis Tournament that was held in capital of Tamil Nadu, Chennai. So his name is Sumit Nagal. Sumit Nagal. Who inaugurated the new headquarter of the Bureau of Police Research and Development at New Delhi? Who inaugurated it? You can see him here. This is uh, internal security, which is a matter of home affairs. So the answer is Home Minister Rajnath Singh. And our new Home Secretary is Rajiv Gauba. Important thing to understand here is that one person, his name is Shri Sulkhan Singh. Sulkhan Singh is the Director General of Police of Uttar Pradesh. He was awarded uh, the Home Minister's Medal for, his, uh, for being the best police trainer. Which country has launched a project that uses seawater? coupled with clean energy to produce crops. Which country is this? This country is Jordan. Capital of Jordan is Amman and currency is Jordanian dinar. Government has allowed Government has allowed southern states to import 3 lakh ton of raw sugar at how much rate of import duty? So basically right now the southern states of India, the peninsular state, they are facing a acute sugar crisis. Government's duty is 50% but now government has reduced it to 25% because there is a acute shortage of sugar. Which company has launched a digital assistant robot which is powered by artificial intelligence and this robot is called Electra. It has been launched by Reliance Energy. What is the name of the program that the government will undertake from 2018 to enroll the students who are out of schools? It is called School Chalo Abhiyan which means Let's Go School uh, campaign. And uh, since education comes under HRD, our HRD Human Resource Development Minister is Prakash Javadekar. Which of the following cricket bodies have launched the book called 100 Things Every Professional Cricketer Must Know? This is launched by BCCI, Board of Control for Cricket in India. The president is of BCCI is Vinod Rai, who is the ex comptroller and Auditor General of India. He has also written a book called Not Just the Accountant. And the, uh, the CEO of BCCI is Rahul Johari. Asian Development Bank is uh, providing a loan of, uh, to Nepal for how much amount? 
for its power transmission project and distribution project. The amount is $152 million. Now, please note Asian Development Bank is headquartered in Manila. Manila is the capital of Philippines. Philippines president is Rodrigo Duterte. And Asian Development Bank, we have the fourth highest share after Japan, US and China, respectively. Highest is Japan, then US, then China, then India. And Asian Development Bank president is Takehiko Nakao, who is from Japan. Fifth, Coastal Shipping and Inland Water Transportation Business Summit 2017 was recently held in which city? It was held in Kochi, which is in Kerala. Governor is P. Satashivam. Now, my second question for you today, which is a very difficult question. Kochi has the headquarter of which important bank? Write down in comments. Who has resigned from the International Olympic Committee's Executive Board? What is his name? His name is Mr. Patrick Hickey. Important thing to understand about International Olympic Association is that it is headquartered in Lausanne. Where is Lausanne? Lausanne is in, is in Switzerland. Now, Switzerland has another place called Zurich and Zurich is the headquarter of FIFA. Now, one more thing that you need to know. President of International Olympic Association is Mr. Thomas Bach. And we are having Olympic Games in 2020 in Tokyo, 2024 Paris and 2028 Los Angeles. Vice President of India, who is the 13th Vice President of India, Venkaiah Naidu, he recently led the foundation stone for the first and only Greenfield Smart City project in which city? This city is the capital of Jharkhand, Ranchi. Jharkhand CM is Raghu Bardas, who is the first non-tribal CM of Jharkhand and Governor is Draupadi Murmu. Which of the following is the glider of Airbus? Airbus is a company which is in France and uh, its main competitor is Boeing. Boeing is a company of America and another competitor is Lockheed Martin. Lockheed Martin is the same company which manufactures F-16 planes and it, it is also an American company. There is another company called Dassault Aviation. Dassault Aviation is a French company from which we are buying the Rafael jets. So uh, the name of the glider is Perlan 2. It has made the world record for a glider flight uh, of uh, flying at 52,172 feet. Who has won the Professor N. R. Madhav Menon Best Law Teacher Award? Best Law Teacher Award which is given by SILF MILAT which is the Society of Indian Law uh, Firms and Menon Institute of Legal Advocacy and Training. This is given to Tahir Mahmood. Which Indian wrestler has won the gold medal at the World Cadet Wrestling Championship that was held in Greece? Greece capital is Athens which had the first ever Olympic Games in 1996 then again in 2004. In 2004, Rajavardhan Singh Rathor won the silver medal who is now been promoted as the Sports and Youth Affairs Minister with independent charge. So which Indian wrestler I am talking about? I am talking about Sonam Malik. She won the gold medal. An Indian Workers Resource Center which is called IWRC was recently inaugurated where? It was inaugurated in United Arab Emirates. Capital is Abu Dhabi and it was inaugurated in one of the Emirates called Sharjah. India recently held talks with the Foreign Minister of which country who was on a visit to India and he met India's Foreign Minister Sushma Savaraj. He is the Foreign Minister of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka's President is Maithri Pella Sena. Prime Minister is Ranil Vikram Singhe. Capital is Sri Javardhane Puri Kote who has been elected as the new president of the Society of Indian Automobiles Manufacturer. He is from the company Ford and uh, his name is Abhay Firodia. SEBI, which is the capital market regulator. SEBI is headquartered in Mumbai and chairman is Ajay Tyagi. Securities and Exchange Board of India has recently imposed a penalty of how much amount on PACL group, its highest ever on a defaulter. Total penalty is 2,423 crore rupees and more than 49,000 crore rupees was mobilized illegally by PACL group. International Day for South-South Cooperation was observed on September the 12th. Where will the Global South-South Development Expo of 2017 will be hosted by which country? It will be hosted at a place called Antalya. Now Antalya is in Turkey. Turkey's capital is Ankara. President is Erdogan who is the most powerful person in the history of Turkey probably. And uh, Turkey also has an important city called Istanbul. Which Indian player recently won the Malaysia Squash Tour that was held in the capital of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. What is his name? And it was his 21st consecutive international match that he won in a row. He is this person. His name is Harinder Pal Sandhu. CII, Confederation of Indian Industry, organized the 10th edition of the Medical Technology Conference where and it was decided that medical technology can now have 100% FDI foreign direct investment. So it was organized in New Delhi. And who is our health minister? JP Nadda is the minister for health and family welfare. Which Indian company is going to acquire the cotton seed business of American company Monsanto. Monsanto manufactures BT cotton seeds. Most of the BT cotton seeds in India are manufactured by Monsanto. And again, it is acquired by an American company called TR Agrotech. There is also controversy going on over GM mustard. Our agriculture minister is Radha Mohan Singh. Radha Mohan Singh, who is, uh, who is an MP from Purvi Champaran in Bihar. And food processing minister is Harsim Kaur Badal. And consumer affairs minister is Ramilas Paswan, who is a member of parliament from Hajipur constituency in Bihar. 
What is the name of the mini marathon and 5 km race which border security force is going to hold at 200 locations across India? And this is to commemorate October 22nd which is celebrated as BSF Martyrs Day. So this will be called Run for Martyrs. Run for Martyrs. Now my third question for you today. Again a very difficult question. Which popular uh, saint is organizing Rally for Rivers? Rally for Rivers. Which popular saint is organizing? Write down in comments. Prince Charles has become the longest serving Prince of Wales with 59 years, 1 month and 15 days. He has broken the record of which uh, prince? He has broken the record of Edward the Seventh. Government is considering extending the faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicles Fame India scheme by another how many months? It is planning to do so for another 6 months. For another 6 months. And who is our Minister for Heavy Industries? Minister of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises? It is Anant Gite. He is from Shiv Sena, part of NDA, therefore Cabinet Minister. And Anant Gite is an MP from Raigad in Maharashtra. Amazon India has recently inaugurated its largest fulfillment center at which place? This fulfillment center is at Hyderabad, capital of Telangana. Telangana Rashtra Samiti is the ruling party in Telangana and Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao. Which of the following banks has announced to replace 75% of its bank loans with the borrowings using the money market instrument? Which bank is this? And this bank was recently given the scheduled bank status by the RBI. RBI's governor is Ujit Patel. Name is Ujivan Small Finance Bank. Nestle, the famous FMCG company, has recently inaugurated its first food safety institute in which food safety food safety institute in which place? And our food safety consumer affairs minister is Ramilas Paswan. This they have done in Manesar, in Gurgaon, in Haryana. Please note that Nestle is headquartered in Switzerland. Now, if they ask which place in Switzerland, it is called Vevi. Switzerland is a very important city, like Geneva, like um, Zurich, like Bern, which is also the capital of Switzerland. There is a joint training exercise called Shaheen the Sixth. It is being held between the armed forces of which countries? It is an annual exercise between Pakistan and Chinese establishment. 21st GST Council meeting was recently held where? It was headed by the Finance Minister of India, Mr. Arun Jaitley. So it was in recently in again Hyderabad. Government has recently imposed countervailing duty for five years on the import of the flat steel products from which country? This is to protect our domestic market. And it is for the first time that a countervailing duty, CVD, is levied on a steel product imported from China. Capital is Beijing and President is Xi Jinping, Prime Minister is Li Keqiang. 70th regional meeting session of the WHO South East Asia region was recently held where? By the way, who is the Director General of WHO? His name is his name is uh, Tadros Adhanom. Earlier it was Margaret Chen, now it is Tadros Adhanom and he is from Ethiopia, capital is Addis Ababa. Ethiopia is also a country from the Horn of Africa. So at which place this was held? It was held at Malay, which is the capital of Maldives. Manorama BWF World Senior Badminton Championship is being held where? It is held in Kochi. It is being held in Kochi and more than 665 players from 40 countries are participating. Archaeologists, they have unearthed a 3500-year-old tomb believed to belong to a goldsmith in which Egyptian town? This Egyptian town is Luxor. Capital of Egypt is Cairo, famous for the pyramids. And what is the name of a goldsmith? The name of the goldsmith is said to be Amenem Hart. India's first water ATM was recently inaugurated where this is like a normal ATM but instead of money you will have water and uh, this is uh, done by a company called Honeywell. So where? It is again in Hyderabad. Which football club was uh, has unveiled the first look of its plan to build the world's first dividing retractable football pitch? So now NFL and football both can take place here because there are two separate grounds. It's a retractable football pitch. This stadium is Tottenham Hotspur and the name of the stadium is Wembley. Wembley. So this was the video. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I gave I give so many extra points, not just the questions which help you again and again. If you listen, you will uh, kind of become champion of GK and you can score extremely good marks in your coming exam. Thanks for watching.